What is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and welcome to the very first part of Project Gary. Before we get started with this first episode, I just want to address that these are going to be a different series of videos than compared to Project Betty, whereas Project Betty is 30 minutes long, these will be at least 10 to 20 minutes long. Now this all depends on what parts I go, so I'm taking Gary a little step at a time as far as modifications go. So in this first part we're doing brakes, because he really needed brakes, and I figured what the hell, why don't we just upgrade his brake systems with slaughtered and drilled rotors and pads and go ahead and paint the calibers too so we can get all that taken care of while we're there but this means that you guys get more content with the lexus now i know a lot of 2j owners that love the lexus and they like the supra and the differences between these two cars is kind of interesting i've been learning a lot about these two cars uh, mainly the gs which is fascinating but i want to give you guys more gs content more gary content so this would be the better way to do it and that's what i've been thinking about for the past two weeks that's why i didn't upload how can i present the project gary episode should i do full 30 minute episodes or should i do 20 minutes should i do an hour so i decided to do the mods in parts so this first part's breaks next part could be intake and exhaust the next thing could be i don't know some cosmetic stuff so lip kit uh or lights like it could be in any format any way i want um, in order of what the next part is and what the next step is for this build. So like I said, the good thing is you guys get more content with the Lexus and prior to Project Betty being on Limbo at the moment, I also have more music to create too for you guys. So you have more music videos, more Lexus content, and I'll sprinkle out a couple sketch fields. I've already written down some sketch fields I gotta do as well. So that's gonna be cool. Just variation for you guys to watch. But without further ado, let's go jump back in time and install the brand new brake set and paint those calipers. Why is that high? That's good. It's not a truck. <laughs> Bro, are you, you for real don't know how to do this? You're joking. You're joking, bro. These you. are easier than they're from, bro. I told bro. you you're gonna say. These are easier. Well, the only you're reason I know how to do this is because I did it on a truck. Wow, the, the Hugh, these are, these are so hard, Hugh. Wow, it looks like I could take me three hours. Now, do you have the tool? Because it makes it so much easier. Put pistons. What? <laughs> <laughs> Three hours of work right here, guys. Three hours. Shut up. <laughs> Give me the <laughs> things. Oh, what the heck? Look, I found a ring. What the? <laughs> get away from me. It's a ring. Here. What the hell is this? You know we got to do an exhaust down here, bro. This looks terrible. Give me the the small one, dude. The small wrench from over there. Bruh. What, bruh? Oh. <laughs> it's right behind you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. Wait, wait, Sorry guys. You're like, what do you mean, bro? How is technical difficulties, okay? Technical difficulties. More like psychological difficulties. <laughs> psychological. Yeah, just put this right. Muscle ache difficulties. Clenched cheeks difficulties. <laughs> Your face. Alright, 
what is up guys today we're gonna be doing some rotors so first of all you get the rotor off I don't know how you do that just do it and then you go right here you match the bolt pattern done so just like the other guys say take this rotor because I don't know how it goes on you just go like this for us scratch it rotor type beat. and then you're done go home let's go oh, okay. oh. oh my god no we just got that video no <laughs> stop button no no it's filming <laughs> Oh god, that's way too much. Now it's really gonna thread in lock. <laughs> thread in my lock. Go ahead and get crack on the other side. Do you hear me? Uh-huh. They just no. Nope, the other way. Down. You that sure? that old pin part, that little part sticks out and needs to go facing down. Like so? Nope. This this goes right here. That slot's right there. I can't see. What? That goes down. So like that? There you go. Okay, that's so I knew uh, <laughs> um, So how are these supposed to fit in here? You almost had it. Like that? Did Mm -hmm. Did you sit like that? Yeah, you gotta put the pin in first. The little. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. Put that <laughs> pin in. Oh my god. Where's the pin? <laughs> three hours later. <laughs> you're the one that took three hours. Okay? <laughs> Where, where'd you put the you're pin? Give me crap. Where'd you put the pin? All right, let's see how fast you can do it, boy. Go. <laughs> stuttered a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it just blows air right into oh, your no, face. Oh no, gotta go, we gotta keep going, you're... Oh, oh no. You ah. gotta get it back on the track. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Should've had that one ready. My, That's my bad. Micro penis, uh, lucky. <laughs> Alright, so you're done. Alright. Starting. You guys doing this, by the way? <laughs> Ow. Oh, no, not the. Did you tie in the lock? Yep, got the lock. Not the pet boy's quota. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so Ariel just left. We just finished up the back. That took like 20 minutes. So now it's up to me to finish the job. Let's go up to the front and get this done. Alright, there's a spider in my camera. Yeah. Excuse you. Shoot. There we go. Alright, we just got Gary's brakes all upgraded. We got brand new slaughtered and drilled rotors with some fresh ceramic pads. So this is the next day actually. And when I got done with all four wheels, the calipers were missing something. They were pretty ugly. They were old. It just they needed some extra oomph to like showcase the brand new rotors that we just put on. So what I'm gonna do is the same tactic I did on Betty and we're gonna be spray painting them. But, like Betty, I actually did a specific blue 
I did the anodized blue for Betty. And you can see it's got a really, really, really nice shine to it. And then the base coat, uh, which I put underneath that, was just some plain old blue, actually. Um, so with this combined with this, this color popped out a lot better than just putting this on the, uh, the calibers themselves because it was just really dark. So I'm going to do the same tactic. However, a lot of my friends were saying what color I should do and even some of you guys were saying either on my Instagram or on my recent videos, what color should I be doing? It wasn't a hard decision, but I knew for sure because design wise is what makes sense. We are going to be doing the anodized purple color. Now, purple, in my opinion, would look really, really good with the gold paint. Even if possibly we could change the paint on them or refresh the paint, make it a darker gold or a wrap, something like that. But this purple would look really good with any kind of gold color. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to use the blue as a base coat. I could use primer, like just a gray primer, um, but then I've tested it off camera on like the ground or something. And it just, it's okay but you could still kind of see the gray underneath, whereas at least with this, you'll see the blue hidden underneath the purple, which will probably look really, really, which will probably look really, really nice. It'd be more like, instead of a deep purple like this, actually, what is this color called? It, oh, it just says purple. Okay, whatever. Again, I don't want to go too crazy with the color because I don't want it to be super flashy. I want it to be like subtle because with Betty's, the blue on there, it looks black at night. Like it looks like there's black calipers on her. But during the day, you can see that it's a deep blue color. It's kind of cool actually. So it's like a two tone to this, even though it's just one solid color. So enough yammering, let's get straight to work. We're running out of daylight. When you paint your calipers, please cover your brake pads. Nobody wants to see your red, purple, green, whatever colored pads. They want to see the rotor or the, they want to see the caliper, not your pads. That's the one thing I hated when I did it before, and is that I accidentally sprayed paint the whole thing, which is the caliper and the pads. Don't, come on, don't do that, that's stupid. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off. We're gonna mask out this entire thing. Now, what I'm gonna use to mask here is uh, this uh, plastic sheeting here I just got from Lowe's. I think it was like 16 bucks for, what's this, 10 by 25 feet of it. So this is what I used before when I was repainting Betty's uh, calipers. So it's just basic plastic sheeting, that's all it is. Why are these cleaning up so well? What the hell? That is so weird. Not bad for 20 year old calipers. Can I just say something funny? Why does this smell like grape to me? It's really weird. It smells like grape. All right, so pretty much got three coats of uh, the purple on there and it's starting to look pretty good. I am going to put at least two coats of the clear on there just so it gets protected um, from heat, dirt, grime, all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to put two medium coats of clear on these and we should be done with the rear. That looks really good because in certain lighting you can't tell that that's purple like right now the camera thinks it's black but if I do some contrasting for you guys you could definitely tell that that's a purple it's almost like a midnight purple because it's like a two-tone kind of coloration here going on 
very interesting it looks really good especially with the uh, gold paint here huh I think I just invented a new color right there I guess we'll call it uh, deep purple because my favorite band cool let's go ahead and stick the wheels on and uh, move on to the front and then we'll showcase it Do something about this and I have just the thing you're probably gonna hate me for it but this is the best idea that I have for now very nice Alright, so the first part of Project Gary is pretty much done. If you guys enjoyed this first part, be sure to leave a comment down below what you think of the, I call it deep purple color for the calipers. It's really strange. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can get these pair of rotors yourself along with the pads. I'll leave all that stuff down there from Detroit Axle. Thank you so much for helping out on this project, by the way. You guys are awesome. If you guys enjoyed the first part, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. And we will see you goons later.